welcome back to part two of how how to make how to dye your own wool. So what I have done in part one is how to stir your own dyes and what supplies you need. So in part two, I'm going to show you how to dye your own wool. So let's get started. So what I have what I got here is a turkey baster. You can get them at Walmart or, or basically any store. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean out this little bit of water so if there's any leftover dyes from my other project. So I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do now is take the color what I want. So I think what I'm going to do is, whoops, is start with my purple. I'm just going to fill just a little bit of it. So, so I just did that much basically. And I'm going to pick a spot on my wool where I want that purple to be. So I'm just going to press it, like put it down on my wool. You don't want to soak your wool because if you soak your wool too much, it's going to bleed through it really badly. So I'm doing my purple. So I'm just going to tap it down just a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it looks like that so far. So what I'm going to do now is clean out my turkey baster with water and start with my other color. So I'm going to, so I think now I'm going to start with my green. So you can do it anywhere you want. It's your choice. You can do self-striping if you're going to spin your yarn to make socks, you can do that. Or you can just dye it all one color. You can just soak your wool in vinegar water and you can um, let that soak and then pour out the vinegar water and then put back the wool inside and then take like, it's almost like a dog thing that has a little needle at the end. You can just poke it down and you can just poke it down to squeeze it. So you can also do that as well. So now what I think I'm going to do now is my red. And again, you can put it anywhere you want it to be. So I'm putting my dyes on. When you put this in the microwave, um, you want to put it on about three minutes. That's what I do. If you start to smell like your plastic wrap, getting burnt in there, you want to check it because you don't want a fire to start. So that's also very important. So I'll meet you back in part three of how to make and dye your own wool. Bye.